going to take you on a little hike today, do a quick knife review, and uh, show you a little bit of the Camasia, Camasia, Camasia Nature Park. Here we go. But you come off of the parking lot here and you come into this nice amphitheater. In the parking lot there's a cell tower and there's an albatross nest right at the top. This isn't really a review but it's more of just an overview of the Openel number eight and number six. I bought this one for my son. The numbering system is about the size and they're made for different size hands. My hand about a large almost an extra large. And you can open the knife and then you twist this little ring and it locks it. So you can see in my hand the blade size. It's a nice sharp blade. came out of the box with a little burr on it. I stroked it up a little bit. It looks nice. So you op operate that by twisting. You can close it. And this is a nice feature. You can close it now it's locked closed if you twist it when it's closed. The smallest knife with that feature, that lock ring, is the 6. It goes 6 through 12. 12 is a pretty big knife. It's a little smaller. Nice. You can see that uh, it's an open L carbon. There's a lot of nice history on their website. You can learn that the crown is from Savoy and the little hand symbol is from the town that it's made in. So it's kind of cool. Alright, I did a review with this with my dad, so hopefully we can uh, show you that right about now. I saw these on Bushcraft USA. There was a discussion about them. A lot of people talking about the size 8. And uh, I got a size 8 for myself and I got a size 6 for my son who's behind the camera right now. So, <coughs> This is an American made knife and it's made by Case. And you can have all your French knives that you want. This is the best nail cleaning knife I have ever had in my life. And it's good for scaling fish, it's good for gutting fish, and it's good for taking care of your friends. That's <laughs> all I have to say. So he has his preferred blade here. Uh, I haven't used this very much. It might be better. What I do notice is this is really, uh, really wide. And um, when you look at this little little case here, it's uh, it's considerably thinner. Yeah, it's thinner. Now let's let's just the proof of the pudding here is you close that knife up. All right. Is it closed? Yes. Okay. Now, director, I want you to count to three. Knife quickest. One. Two, three. Mine's open. Well, that's not exactly fair because I, I I could have had it closed and locked closed. Well, like that. so let's now that's do locked this closed. test again. Okay, now mine is locked closed. This could open at any time. Mine mine can't open without me pulling it out. <laughs> All right. There's. You ready? Three, two, one. one. Twist, open, retwist. Okay, but I could uh, shave the hair off my arm with mine. And I can shave the hair off of your arm with mine, too. <laughs> Let me see. Can you? Sure. Now, this knife has been used for like over a year, though. And uh, actually, no, you can't. But I, I, I do know that this will hold, hold a real real fine edge. So, and two this, sizes. This is made out of real steel. This is made out of real wood with a little bit of carbon blade action going on and a twisty deal. Here. And this is a modern knife because it doesn't have a wood handle. It has a plastic handle. <laughs> which is really good and it's thin and lightweight and fits in your pocket. Yes, but you can win friends and influence people with this blade. You can just <laughs> take care of your problems with this blade. And that's the unboxing of the Open Hell Knives from Erica Portland and we'll see you later. Don't forget Case. Thank you. So I'm going to go for a hike and we'll see you in a minute. Friday night, I'm going nowhere. All the lights are changing, green to red. 
Turning all the TV stations Situations running through my head Looking back through time You know it's clear that I've been blind I've been a fool Now I should point out That it rains all the time in Portland Jealousy, that bitterness that This is a strange sight. This year we've only had five days above 60 degrees. Rains like 30 days straight. The uh, wettest March this year was like 1940. So don't think you're gonna come here and see this. and beautiful and unique area in the uh, Camasilla Wilderness Park in Westland, Oregon. I think it's called a white oak savanna. It's a very rare uh, climate zone. I don't think that's the right word. Check it out. These rocks here come from about a hundred miles away. They were picked up by floods, these Missoula floods that we had in our history here. Way back before people were here. They deposited this strange rock here and then they polished off the tops nice and flat from the uh, movement of glacial glaciers. At least that's what I read in the brochure. <laughs> 